Welcome to another video. Uh, this video, I have created a simple uh, web service um, and also how to consume it or how to use it on a, from a different uh, web application or Windows application. Um, this is my Facebook page uh, where you can submit a question and if I know how to you know, answer it, I'll do my best on doing a demo and share it with with you guys so I'm gonna start from fresh uh, from a brand new example so I'm using Visual Studio 2010 so the way you do it is you create a new website and from here you can pick or select your framework I'll use 3.5 and here's a template that it comes with the uh, Visual Studio. Um, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, click OK, or if you don't have a site yet, you can do browse. Uh, click your local host, local IIS. Now, as you can see, it's telling us that we need to run as an administrator if we want to make a new site. Now, I already did. So, uh, so we don't have to repeat the same step. So I'll just go back. So as you can see now, I'm running same thing, but this time I'm running as administrator. Now, when you go to your default site, then you can make a a virtual directory and create new web application. So what I did is I'm using this one, uh, NER Web Service. So that's what I did. I did a, a create new application, as you can see. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna cancel that. But that's all I did, and then hit OK, and OK on this one, and it will get you to this. Once you finish doing that, you get this template. As you can see, we're using the IIS. We're gonna deploy our, our web service to the to the right here so you can see localhost web uh, NER web services and here's the file you get the servers that ASMX now there's nothing here to do on this solution explorer so I'm just gonna hide it there's nothing to do there um, I'm gonna run it like it is As you can see, I get a like a site already done. Um, as you can see at the top, there's two methods. Uh, these are not here by default. Only the first one, the hello world. Um, and at the bottom, as you can see, it's telling us that we need to change our namespace. Uh, if you don't change it or add it, you keep getting this message. So I'm gonna cancel this back. And what I done is you add this attribute. Uh, you can add your domain or whatever else you need to do your site. So that's what I've done. Now when I run it again, you see the difference. As you can see you don't have any that, that kind of buggy or message you should message you that there. So by default, the first thing you get is this one, the hello world. So if you click on it, you get this option that you can test it. So it's a good idea to test it. As you can see, we get back. That's our namespace that we're using. And we get back a string. Really easy. Now we'll go check that code right now. Scroll down. The way you uh, make public functions to to your users is you add this attribute uh, web method. So when you, the IIS knows that we need to allow people to call this function hello world, and then you return whatever you want to return. In this case, it's just a you return in a string. So it's very simple, nothing fancy. Now if we move on to a more 
fancy one not fancy but something else more useful I will create the same method same attribute but this time we're adding a description to it you can name it whatever you want and from here we're gonna return an integer uh, same way as all their programming you have uh, arguments or parameters and in this case I'm taking in two integers you can name whatever you want so the idea is that you add both and return very simple and we'll try it. see what we get so we'll go to this one as you can see add two numbers that's a description we did we'll click on it as you can see we can test it doesn't matter what numbers they are so as you can see we get back the total 46 nothing fancy but it's working as planned now we are gonna do something more helpful or something else uh, you might use actually use uh, in this case we're gonna you can create your own classes and return it in this case I'm not I don't have a class but uh, a struct it's similar to a class but there's no need to initialize this type of object and what I've done is here I say well my struct or kind of class slash class is gonna be named video games so in my struct I'm gonna be storing uh, the video game name the game value very simple but you see how you can use it now obviously this could be something else could be a uh, returning a data table or anything else any other object but as you can see here in my method uh, I'm gonna return an object and my object is video games same as this object so I'm gonna add values to it and return it in my web service so here I'm I'm doing a, an array of video games and I'm adding just two games just to keep it simple um, here I'm populating my object as you can see has uh, the zero index space array and I'm passing the name and the value just two games and from there I'm returning the list this list so we'll run it again so I'll get my game list obviously you can add a database to return your records but as you can see we got two games so video one or video game and obviously you can change the XML tags so these are based on the class game name are just a, a property on that struct uh, that's how I got the XML tags on it but really simple you return XML that way and go back close this guy so that's really in simple how to uh, create a web services that returns data back so obviously this is only to give you an idea how to start um, so here you can do uh, you can create your own class and in, in, inside your method you can build what object you want to return back to the user and um, the IIS returns an XML file or the web services returns the XML file back to the user now I'm done with this I'm gonna close this guy now I'm gonna go here to Firefox and the URL is this basically is your uh, host name slash neural web services and services dot ASMX same file as the Visual Studio file nothing else 
now this is what you're gonna use to consume uh, this web servers and I'm gonna open this project that I made um, there's nothing to it to consume my web servers uh, the first thing you need to do this is a basic uh, Windows form so all I did was new project you know whatever framework Windows forms and click OK that's what I did the next thing I did was go here to reference and here you're gonna say I want to add a service reference from here on what I did is I click advanced and here I said I want the web reference and here you paste that oops was the wrong URL go back here click go and as you can see it found it you got the three methods going on right here now the next thing you need to do is decide what's your uh, web reference gonna be could be anything you could leave, don't leave it host local host because it's too generic so you should just do it based on what it is I mean this is just a game you could name it game list that uh, demo something like that and click add now I already did this part so after you do add reference cancel this you get um, in your reference obviously you get a bunch more added to it and you get this new folder web reference and here's where uh, it's the pointer is to, uh, to the web services that you're gonna be using as you can see as my namespace I chose nervecentral.api.webservice sample so in order for you to access those objects or those methods you need this namespace added to your uh, page you code behind page so what I've done is as you can see you add this at the top of your page using uh, nerd consume web servers that's the namespace for your project the nerd central and then you start passing on the whole uh, namespace that you chosen at this uh, at this level after that the next thing you do now I'm using the on load event just to make it simple um, so I have I'm using a list box something simple and I'm gonna populate this with the games that I have uh, from the web services that I made so I'm gonna make this smaller. So the only thing you need to do now is call service. As you can see, it's coming from the web service that we set up already. So service, if you're not sure which one what object is the name, what you could do is come back here, right click and you can see there's an option view in object browser if you click that uh, Visual Studio will take you to that uh, namespace if you click it down the black arrow there it will give you everything that you're uh, made public as you can see we got add numbers events and all this stuff but the one we're looking for is service now you can see it's also publishing the this object video games so that means that you could actually uh, use it uh, from your site and and if the servers had a way of importing games you could use this object to populate it and then pass it on to the servers but on this one we're just uh, getting a list of games so we're gonna use the service that's the main call and under the service we got different 
functions here or methods. The and numbers, which is really simple, but the one we're going to be using is the uh, game get game list. Very simple. So, so you do servers new object initialize, and then here on we're going to say service get game list. And as you can see, we're returning uh, an array of video games. That's a custom class or object. Actually, it's a struct. And as you can see, when so this guy is going to return an array. We need to initialize or get rid of an array on this side, so we can take the results back from the web services. So at this time, we're calling the web service. Now, once we get back our array, we can loop to each game and pass it on to to the legs box. Really nice because when you do game here, you get uh, access to the name and value of your uh, class that you made or struct that you made on your web services. So I'm going to run it. And here, all I'm doing is my list box. I want to go into my items and, and I'm adding, and I'm going to be adding the name. Uh, this is just to split up or make a space between the name and the value. And here I'm saying uh, just add a, a dollar sign to the value. So I'm going to run it. So as you can see, we got back need for speed uh, 4099 split second and the value. Really simple uh, way of consuming a web service and building one too. Uh, hopefully this was helpful to you. It should give you an idea how to start your web service. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try my best to uh, have an answer for you. Uh, if you like, you can go back to this site and to Facebook page and ask me a question if you want. Uh, thank you for watching.